The Supreme Court grants interim bail to Tista Sitilwad. Supreme Court has also asked Tista Sitilwad to surrender her passport until regular bail matter is considered by the High Court. Huge development here. Tista Sitilwad has been granted bail by the Supreme Court. Interim bail has been granted for her. Supreme Court has asked Tista to surrender her passport until regular bail matter is considered by the High Court. Comes as a big development here. Tisa Sitilwad, with regards to the Gujarat rights case, uh, was accused of spreading misinformation and, and egging uh, victims and misguiding them into filing cases that did not have credi credibility. These were the allegations against her. The, she was arrested. And now the court, Supreme Court, as an appeal had gone to Supreme Court asking for bail. As she sought bail, Supreme Court has now granted her interim bail. Tisa Sitilwad gets interim bail. Supreme Court has asked Tista to surrender her passport until regular bail matter is considered by the High Court. Tista Sitilwad, uh, a very well-known activist, she has been accused of misleading investigations in the Gujarat rights case. And now the Supreme Court saying that interim bail has been granted to her. Supreme Court has uh, granted interim bail for now, but of course she's got to surrender her passport. Their Supreme Court, while he, taking up the matter, also said no reason to deny bail to Tisa Sidilwar. In fact, this was the Supreme Court's observations while appeals were filed in court uh, about Tisa Sidilwar uh, wanting bail at the earliest. These were attempts made for, for, for a few weeks now, and finally the Supreme Court seems to have given her interim bail. But uh, it appears that she's got to submit her passport until the High Court next takes up the matter for regular bail for Tista. Of course, many concerns about the way Tista Sitilwad has been kept in custody. There were a lot of questions asked as to why she was kept in custody for a prolonged period. Supreme Court also observing that there was no reason to why Tista Sitilwad should not be granted bail. And the Supreme Court now granting interim bail for her, but she's got to forego her passport for the moment. Anisha Mathur joining us live for more. Anisha, Supreme Court, uh, while observing that there was no reason to deny bail to Tista, has now granted her interim bail, but she's got to submit her passport until the High Court takes up the matter for regular bail. Give us a little more on what the Supreme Court has observed. Well, uh, there are there was a long hearing today as well, and there was a hearing yesterday as well, and the court has been concentrating on the fact that Tista Settelwad is a woman who has been in jail for more than two months now. She's been, uh, she has also been custodially indicated by the Gujarat government and the fact that or the evidence uh, that the evidence against her has been already taken. The court has also observed the fact that the allegations against her pertain to statements and documents that were submitted in 2002 and uh, the allegation, the Solicitor General also argued that this conspiracy went on until 2012 when the uh, till when the trial was going on but taking all of these factors into account the supreme court has granted interim bail to tista sitilwad she will be walking out of the jail uh, to either today or tomorrow uh, but uh, this is regular bail remember the high court of uh, gujarat will be considering her plea for regular bail in this particular case that is uh, regarding allegations of uh, tampering with witnesses, tampering of, of evidence. What is also interesting to note is that the Supreme Court repeatedly had asked this question that what exactly is the evidence against her? Uh, uh, is there any witness statement or evidence against her that is not arising out of the Supreme Court's own verdict that was passed in June this year in the uh, uh, Zakia Jafri matter? So uh, taking all of that into account, now the Supreme Court has granted interim bail to Tista Tetelwad. She will have to surrender her passport. She's also been directed to cooperate with the investigation. The court has also uh, uh, given the clarification that the uh, comments that have been made, the remarks that have been made and the observations that have been made in this verdict will not affect the High Court's decision making. The, the High Court will have to consider the actual evidence and the actual allegations against Tista Sitilwad while they are hearing her bail plea. So for now, a relief for Tista Sitilwad who's been in jail for the last two months. The government of Gujarat, of course, has taken the stance that they do have witness statements, that there is a witness, there are witnesses who said that she gave pre-typed uh, statements to the Gujarat SIT, which had probed the uh, Zakia Jafri case, the uh, 
the Gulbarga Society case. So, so we have to wait and Anisha, see what happens uh, now. The, 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 the allegations were that Tista was misguiding some of those victims in the Gujarat riots case. That's uh, the reason to why she was arrested. And now, after uh, nearly over a month, she's got interim bail. Let me quickly cut across. Stay with us, Anisha. Nalini also joining us for a little more on that. Nalina, Nalini, over to you on Tista Sirilwad. Uh, the, the, human rights activists and uh, the kind of clout that she holds, uh, there was enough and more, uh, you know, voices crying foul after she was arrested and the way she was arrested or rather the way she was kept in custody. Uh, the Supreme Court while hearing the matter, while taking up her bail plea said that there's no reason to deny Tista bail. So therefore interim bail has been granted. Give us in a nutshell, what was the allegation against her and what has the Supreme Court now taken note of? Well, Nabila, if you remember, it was a judgment of the Supreme Court itself where a clean sheet had been granted to the Prime Minister related to the 2002 Gujarat riots, after which Tista Setelwad was first picked up by the Gujarat police and arrested, citing that there's a larger conspiracy in the entire 2002 Gujarat riots case. What the Supreme Court had said in that judgment, where they had granted a clean sheet to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, is that there were some elements in the society that had on purpose kept the pot boiling and created this entire controversy even though it was clear that there was no uh uh, there was no uh, conspiracy that was behind the 2002 uh, Gujarat riots on, on, on the basis of which the Prime Minister was granted a clean sheet. But now that Tisa Setelwad has come back again to the Supreme Court with a bail plea seeking bail, the Supreme Court has said and time and again re they've reiterated this that bail is the rule and jail is the exception. So they've gone ahead and said that uh, at least for now till the time the High Court is considering the matter and the merits of the matter in the larger aspect, Tisa should be let out on interim bail keeping in mind her right to individual liberty and in case the High Court at the end of hearing the matter on merits decide that this is not a fit case for bail then of course the police can take her into custody again. It's an interim bail that has been granted Nabila. We need to clarify that. She is not going to be out perpetually. It's only for the time that the Gujarat High Court is considering her main plea for bail as to whether or not bail can be granted to her in this case. So it's only an interim bail that has been granted and the Supreme Court's very categorically said in its order that this order they cannot be used by any of the other accused because remember there are other accused including R.B. Shri Kumar as well as Sanjeev Bhatt that are also behind the bars in the same case regarding the larger conspiracy behind the 2002 Gujarat riots. So the Supreme Court said in very clear words that this order cannot be used as a precedent by any other accused to get, grant themselves bail or to approach for bail before any court of law and this has been done keeping in mind the individual facts of the stars case. The fact that she is a lady, the fact that she has already been in jail for several days. Her interrogation has been completed during the time that she was in police custody and after that she has been sent in judicial custody. Yeah. So there is no reason to keep her behind the bars any longer and that is why she has been granted bail on an interim basis by the top court today. All right, Nalini and Anisha, thank you very much for joining us um, with those perspectives. Tisa Sirilwad, interim bail only for, has to forego her passport until the High Court takes hearing on a regular bail play.